Hi, I'm Alex and welcome to my channel Expect Ridiculum. The second season of Oshinoko is finally here, aired today, and it starts with episode 12, which will continue the first season. We are finally going to see Aqua and Ruby. Aqua is going to investigate Ice Pass as well as find out who's behind the murders. Was Ruby might actually finally find out who is the man whom she loved in her previous life. Which obviously we know who that is, but I'm not going to say it if you are just starting from the second season. Believe it or not, I have just finished a 12 hourly shift in my work and I have been literally flying home on my imaginary wings because I was so excited. I really wanted to watch this episode and I couldn't book today's off, so I do apologize. If I if I look a little bit tired, I'll do my best to give you the best reaction, but it's going to be hard because I really cannot contain my excitement for Oshinoko season two. Oh, and if you are new to this channel, I have reacted to the first season of Oshinoko on my Patreon, where you can find it in uncut and full opacity length. However, if you'd rather watch my reactions on YouTube channel, subscribe so my videos will appear on your feed or leave a like, that always helps. Thanks. And now, without further ado, let's get on with this episode. Is this a stage play? Oh. That's an interesting format. Look at this light effect. It's like an idol concert. I love it. It's like modern lines connected to um, an ancient stage play. It's so cool. And I love how they're showing the characters on screens. Nice music. Hello. <laughs> oh, where's Aqua? Where's Aqua? Is it him? No, I don't think so. Oh, is that Aqua? Oh, that really suits him if that's him. Nice. And the princess. Aqua's girlfriend. <laughs> right? <laughs> Love the FX of the music. <laughs> nice. Because I'd love to see it in real life. Wow, she's so pretty. She's like an artwork. In the sea of blood. He's kind of still jealous. Okay, four months before, uh, between the seasons have passed. Slowly but surely. Well, he's got a hidden agenda, don't he? It's a, isn't it a fake relationship? It is, isn't it? Mm. Poor Aqua. <laughs> now that's a beautiful dream you have. Aww. ゴブスー5000万部を超える人気漫画東京ブレイドを本各地に存在するチームが構想を繰り広げ互いに友情や愛情を深めていく王道バトルストーリーだ。<笑><笑> あいつは演技の話になると、そんな子もいいからな。出番連れてる方がぐちぐち言われるタイミングも少なそうで助かる。勘弁してくれ。それが通じるのは演技に情熱持ってるやつだけだ。After <笑> <あ>、<笑>
Wow, he's really good at play. She, he makes her literally see it. <laughs> wow, it totally goes for it. Oh, <laughs> do I sense something? <laughs> My love raider is on. この後飯道。いいわね。私も聞きたいことが山ほどあるわ。待ってな。私を見ろって演技ができる子じゃなかったのに。自信覚悟ハイトロをやってないわ。だいたい1ヶ月程度の稽古期間を設けます。昼頃
これでやるしかないんだ今日は原作者も来るらしいから挨拶がてらかな Maybe she'll be able to talk to the author この脚本ってどう思うちょっと原作とは違うでしょああでも割と原作に準拠した脚本だと思うぞ Not in favor of all characters 俺が前に見たドラマの脚本に比べたら90倍はマシ極まはひどかったもんね<笑>気になるところがあるなら直接聞いたらどうだダメだよ演技の指導は演出家から受けるもの多くの人にアーダコーダ言われて But if she could play the princess the way the manga author wants it 演技のダメだし合うのも金田一さんは良しとしてトカーが脚本について質問があるみたいなのですが演出の金田一さんの意見も踏まえてお伺いできたらちょっとワクワク二人同時に聞けば筋は通るだろそれはそうだけどあのさや姫のキャラクターなのですがなんていうか脚本からだとキャラが少し理解できなくてこの意図というかああ原作よりだいぶ好戦的な感じだしねそうなんです原作だともっと葛藤がまあねそこは僕もかなり悩んだただその葛藤を演劇というメディアに変換した時できないことはないんだけど<笑>やや漫画では大駒の表情一つで語れた心情を板の上から遠い席のお客に伝えるためにはそれなりに長い演技が必要でさえ登場人物が多くシンプルに整理する必要がある、うん、じゃないと全てのシーンが散漫になるしお客に伝わりづらい作品になってしまうと言っても演じるのは黒川さんだから引っかかってる部分があるなら今から直すよ甘やかすな俺も原作は最初の何巻かは読んだがさや姫の心情を入れればノイズになるいっそ活発なキャラにしたことで対立構造がシンプルになり見せたい部分を分かりやすく見せることができている作家として But that's so unfair As a manga author I wouldn't want anyone to do that to a precious character like princess 心情の深さを見せることじゃない人物たちの対立を分かりやすく見せる舞台装置としての説得力なんじゃないか Oh well, what do I know about stage play? 分かりやすくか東京ブレイド作者のアビコ先生と月祭の吉祥寺と申します。写真は22。わお。どうも。あ。いやいや、塩太陽だな。そりゃお前今日はまではめちゃくちゃ。意見なんと美少。目を合わせただけでテンポル
or simply subscribe to my channel so my video pops up on your feed. Or leave a like, that always helps. See you in the next episode. Bye!